I'm Richard Ryan, welcome to Rated RR. In this week's episode, The Breakdown. The Breakdown is where I take your favorite parts of movies and video games and show them to you in real life. This episode, Lone Survivor. In theaters January 10th, Lone Survivor is based on the true story of a team of four Navy SEALs on a covert mission in Afghanistan starring Mark Wahlberg as Marcus Luttrell. Listen up, Red Wing's a go. Bad guy, senior Taliban commander. Shaw sure killed 20 Marines last week. 20. Going in with a four-man team. Axelson, myself, Dietz, Marcus. Davey, that's a lot more than 10 guys. That's an army. I got a chance to screen the film early, and it's not only an inspiration, but also serves as an amazing tribute to all the Special Operation Forces who lost their lives in Operation Red Wings. I honestly couldn't recommend it more. The film incorporates a ton of various firearms from personnel to aircraft base, but there's no way I could do a series on this film without covering the Mark 12 Special Purpose Rifle. The Mark 12 is a rifle you'll see utilized by Marcus and Axe in the film. It's not your standard M16 variant rifle. Special Operation Forces from both the Army and the Navy worked on developing a marksman rifle based off the M4 and M16 platform. Now there's several different types of mods or ways to build one, but today I built one similar to the one that you'll see in the film used by Mark Wahlberg. This would be considered a Mark 12 Mod 1. Now starting off with an M16 or M4 lower, these were generally built with a Knight's two-stage trigger. It's equipped with an A2 fixed position buttstock along with a Knight's armament free floating rail adapter system. A Harris bipod and an 18 inch barrel with the OpSync braking collar here that aligns with their 12th model suppressor. So whenever you want to add a suppressor to it, you don't actually have to remove the muzzle brake. You can just take and screw it directly onto it. Also like the film, this rifle is equipped with a loophole Mark IV MRT rifle scope. Now being that the Mark 12 is a marksman rifle, the standard issue 556 ball ammo just wouldn't cut it. Now today I have the Black Hills Ammunition 77 grain open tip match round. So enough talking about the specs, let's send some rounds down range. Ready? Ready. times I got up and told that story or how many people read that book, it's nothing compared to how many people will watch that film. So my job is done. Mission complete. Just for one day. Spending that Google money? <laughs> yeah! <laughs>